Hi, this is Rachel, and Meditiv is here today with Gerald Monks, and uh, we're going to talk with you a little bit about how you were introduced to the company, a little bit about your medical condition, and how you'd like to share your Well, story. I've been a complex uh, medical patient for many years, uh, and over the last 15 years, uh, by process of elimination, basically, I have been diagnosed with uh, hereditary peripheral neuropathy which is a neurovascular disease, much like MS. Mm -hmm. uh, what's happened is my myelon covering on the nerves has frayed. Uh, I had an epidermal specialist that I worked with for two years. And he uh, came from the University of Washington and is one of the best in the field. And after two years of epidermals, uh, he was able to loosen up some of my neck problems but uh, basically used every trick in the bag, as you put it, mm -hmm. until my life was a living hell. Uh, I had actually sucking down to where I was using a walker to try to uh, walk. My leg had actually swollen up uh, about double the size of my right leg. Uh, I went in for surgery at uh, uh, Providence Hospital and ended up not having the surgery. as the vascular problem in the pelvis was uh, too complex. That led to me going to a peripheral specialist mm -hmm. at Swedish. And uh, I would have had to have a complete revascularization from my heart down to my knee. Wow. But the problem is, is that they can't deaden the nerves because the myelin has sprayed so much that uh, Basically, all my nerve signals are flying all over. And MS patients, I know you know what I'm talking about. And peripheral neuropathy can go from anything uh, from fibromyalgia, tingling of the feet, to very chronic and uh, even completely debilitating pain and death. So I've been very lucky. I uh, had tried uh, various pills to the point to where I was up to six specialists, all of them specializing in different specialities, but sure. working hard to try to try to, you know, put this disease together. And it's uh, very rare in my case, but finally this was accomplished. And so I uh, started using concentrates as I had uh, gone down to Seattle and seen Dr. Zachary Spare, Green uh -huh. Wellness. And I uh, had seen him on the internet. I'm kind of an idiot savant as far as I've spent a couple thousand hours, of course, sure. having this disease over 15 years on the internet and trying to get my mind wrapped around it and working with excellent specialists. Sure. And over this time, uh, I'm not taking any pills. Wow. This has been two years. So this is so when 15 you... 15 years, uh, I've gone from... Uh, starting pills from everything from thyroidism, my vascular problems, uh, to the point of eating my stomach out, basically. Sure. Uh, what I have now is called Barrett's esophagus, and that's where the stomach lining uh, actually becomes precancerous, long and cylindrical, and uh, kind of eats out the top of the stomach and, and folds over. So there's a whole range of things going on uh, when your central nervous system becomes frayed. Sure. Uh, the autoimmune end of this uh, has also caused my red T cells to be destroyed just about as fast as they're being made in my spine. And this is where the neuropathy starts working up your spine to your heart. And uh, so after seeing Dr. Speyer, uh, he recommended concentrates for me. And I tried, of course, Rick Simpson oil. It was the most prominent. And then I was on the internet and I came across Meditiva and I saw good reviews and I had uh, also worked with Tetra Labs uh, in California with uh, gold caps. And so I was kind of interested and I called Jason and uh, or actually I uh, uh, sent him an email and so I put down all the uh, problems that I was having that I had peripheral neuropathy. Uh, one thing about Jason, he's out for doing good for those that are 
hurry. That's his motto, is to do good and look ahead. Mm -hmm. And that he does. Um, basically, it uh, was an advertisement for stage four cancer patients that were suffering in pain. And so I had uh, online stated that I had the peripheral neuropathy. And uh, then Jason responded that he also sure. was suffering from this disease. Although, uh, behind me by a few years. So we got together and uh, our relationship started about a year and a half ago. And since then I've been using the Meditiva concentrates. And my leg has returned to normal. I have pretty much revascularized what couldn't even be vascularized. Wow. My only option would have been to have had stents put in which now would have had to been replaced, which is now inoperative. So at this point, uh, you know, my life had ceased. So uh, with these oils, they were actually keeping me alive at this point, wow. which is totally amazing. Yeah. And I'm 60 years old. I'm, uh, I'm an old school boy. And uh, of course, have my share of cannabis back in the day. But uh, had you told me two years ago, that uh, concentrate would do this after being put on narcotics sure. for so many years. And that's the other thing that I'd like to put out there is that I've been able to decrease the narcotics and through the oil have more pain relief. Wow. Plus the narcotics causes constipation, sure. all these other problems. These 50 pills I was talking about that I was taking now that I am juicing, I am completely off all pills, which is a major part of everybody's life. And I'd like to be an activist, not only on concentrates, but the importance of your diet and uh, quitting smoking cigarettes and uh, cannabis by any chance. Sure. <laughs> but uh, today I'm uh, sitting here, I've driven down from uh, Marysville to make this to, uh, to help Jason in his uh, continued efforts to improve his product. Uh, he started two years ago and it's just improved and improved and improved. And so uh, at this point, uh, I'm just keeping, keeping on with this leg and, and walking and have uh, completely, really shocked a lot of specialists. And uh, that's why I want to be on camera today to document this. Uh, my doctors are being, uh, behind me. In fact, my pain specialist today uh, was glad that I was here to get awareness out of concentrates because, like I said, he's used every mm -hmm. trick in the bag. Uh, and so it, it, it's hard uh, to see people suffer. But the big thing is, is uh, running into specialty doctors. They work for hospitals, mm -hmm. which are covered by drug companies that by no means want these concentrates to take over their business. So people don't don't be fooled by doctors trying to give you a pill for this and a pill for that and a pill for everything and there's a knee replacement and this, that and a stent for this and no. Diet and these concentrates and as the years go by I'm sure it will be found out the more testing and, and documentation we get on this. Uh, what good these are and, and how this is going to change medicine. If these were just, you know, found like some new herb was mm -hmm. today, uh, people would be going crazy. But because this goes back to, you know, a federal law, you know, from hemp and prohibition days and it has gotten this convoluted. But since the 60s, uh, with marijuana, mm -hmm. with synthetic marijuana, they've tried and tried and tried. But you'll only find the only thing that works is true cannabis concentrates on that. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jeff.